Hello everyone, in this video we will see how can we generate a report for the incidents which are handled by your team and these will include the incidents, those are transferred to other teams as well because you might need to take a report out on which particular incidents your team has actually worked on because it might be a possibility that your team has spent large amounts of time on a ticket but it has been resolved by some other team. For that we will now go to service now and go to reports and create new. If you don't know how to create reports in ServiceNow, please click on the top right corner and I will give the report name here, maybe incidents handled by my team and I will select the incident metric table. This incident metric table stores all the changes that have been made to your incident based on some definition. So there are some definitions which are created out of the box. For example, you can see here create to resolve duration so how much time it took to actually resolve a ticket similarly we have one definition for assignment which creates a new record every time in the incident metric when the assignment group has been changed on your incident even if it has changed for the first time from empty to some other group for that i'll select the definition and give assignment group this definition is out of the box and you can go ahead and create more metric definitions based on your requirements. I will save this and now you would be able to see the incident numbers and their assignment groups or the values which have changed. Here you can see for example for this incident which is ending with 10. It has been transferred to IT Securities database and cab approval. That means as of now three teams have already worked on this and if I go to this incident again and I change it to some other group for example service desk and I save this a new record should be created in the incident metric table I'll again run this and now you can see there is a new entry created for service desk as well and now if you want to find out the incidents which your team has particularly worked on I'll click on and and I'll say value is and maybe I can give the team name database and I will save this again and now all the incidents on which database team has worked on will appear here be mindful of that for example right now it is assigned to a service desk and if I assign it back to database again and I will save this a new record will be generated for this change as well so this incident will appear two times now let me run this again and you can see the incident in ending with 10 is appearing two times so you will have to handle this possibility as well that your team has worked two times on this incident and now if you want to add more columns under configure you can choose columns and then you can go ahead and add the columns which are in the incident table for example assigned to whom it is currently assigned to the assignment group then the ci and then maybe some other columns which are essential for your reporting purpose and I'll click on OK and then I'll click on run and those columns will be added to your report I can go ahead and click on any of the headers and export and I can export this particular report in excel format or if you want to add this report on your dashboard you can take a look on a video how to create dashboards and add reports on it please click on the top right corner for that i hope this video was helpful to you please subscribe to my channel let me know in comments if you have any questions